Gentleman yields back to the chair now recognizes the chairman of the Oversight Committee, Mr. Comer, for an opening statement. Thank you. In August 2022, President Biden questioned in a 60 Minutes interview how anyone can be that irresponsible when asked about classified documents in the possession of former President Trump. But when President Biden said this, he knew that he had stashed classified materials in several unsecured locations for years, dating back to his time as vice president and even as a U.S. senator. President Biden, the White House, and his personal attorneys have not been honest with the American people about his willful retention of classified material and continue to hide information from Congress. President Biden's attorneys claim to have first discovered classified material at Penn Biden Center on November 2nd, 2022. However, President Biden and his lawyers kept it secret from the American people before the midterm elections. CBS News broke the story in January 2023, leaving Americans to wonder if the White House had any intention of ever disclosing that President Biden hoarded classified documents for years. One of my first actions after becoming chairman of the House Oversight Committee was to launch an investigation into President Biden's mishandling of classified documents. This investigation started before special counsel Herr was named. And what we found is alarming. Information obtained through multiple transcribed interviews conducted by the Oversight Committee contradict the White House's and President Biden's personal attorney's narrative about the discovery of classified documents at the Penn Biden Center. In fact, the real timeline began in the spring of 2021, not November 2022, as the White House claimed. Additionally, the classified documents were not kept in a locked closet, as asserted by the White House. We've also learned that five White House employees and a Department of Defense employee were involved in the early stages of coordinating the organizing, moving, and removing of boxes that were later found to contain classified materials. There's no reasonable explanation as to why so many White House employees were concerned with retrieving boxes they believed only contained personal documents and materials. Why did President Biden keep these specific documents in unsecure locations for years? Many questions remain, but now the White House is obstructing Congress as we seek the truth for the American people. We've subpoenaed former White House counsel Dana Remus to appear for a deposition to provide information to our committee, but the White House is seeking to block her testimony. We've also subpoenaed the Department of Justice for audio recordings and transcript of President Biden's interview with Special Counsel Herr. These were due the morning of the State of the Union. Only this morning, a couple of hours before today's hearing, the Department of Justice finally provided the transcript of President Biden's interview with Special Counsel Herr. The timing is not coincidental. Although we've had little time to review the transcripts from what we have seen, it is clear that the White House did not want Special Counsel Herr's final report to be released. The White House has refused to be transparent with the American people about the President's mishandling of classified documents. And worse, they have appeared to have lied about the timeline about who handled the documents, and even about the contents of President Biden's interview with Special Counsel Herr. That is why today's hearing is important. Transparency is what we seek today, and we look forward to Special Counsel Herr's testimony. I yield back. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.